Well, Rick, LGBTQ supporters and advocates joined those parents, teachers, and students for a rally tonight. And their request is simple. They're calling on the board to pass a resolution saying it will not comply with this new law. As the Jefferson County Board of Education met in executive session inside, a call to action was taking place outside. We will not comply! We will not comply! LGBTQ supporters and activists sending a clear message to the board. Do not comply with Senate Bill 150. JCBS needs to stand up to the bullies in Frankfurt and say they will not comply with this hateful rule. Among the speakers was JCPS third grader Justice Chenault, who recently came out as non-binary and goes by the pronouns they and them. Their mother says their experience in school has been great so far, but she fears what will happen when this law takes effect. And just knowing that I no longer have the protections of the law um, is really scary as a parent. Uh, and I'm really hoping that, that JCPS will, will stand up and say, no way, this isn't how we feel about our students and, uh, and we want to protect them. Inside the board meeting, J.P. Whittinger was among more than a dozen speakers who signed up to address the board on this issue. He's concerned about his gender non-conforming child who attends JCPS. Queer kids are more likely both to consider and attempt self-harm. None more so than transgender youth, whose studies show 80% have had suicidal ideation and nearly half have tried to follow through. The speakers also included several JCPS teachers. The lives of our trans youth are not political. They exist, they are real, and they are in pain. Years ago, one of my students came out to me as transgender. He asked me not to tell anyone, including his parents. I respected his wishes, and to this day, I do not regret that I did. Teachers like Kate Albrecht fear this bill will force them to endanger some students' well-being. Would his parents embrace him or hurt him, support him or kick him out? It was too risky. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio said he and the board shared many of their concerns, but says they're still trying to figure out a path forward. It's a difficult road to navigate, to be honest with you. There's just not a simple answer as to will we comply or not comply with that. Now, Polio said he and the board share many of those same concerns, including whether this state law puts them at risk of violating federal laws. Regardless, Polio says they will have to put out some guidance before the start of the next school year. But what that will look like is still unclear. Reporting live in studio, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you, Drew.